What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for more video games. Today we're checking out Blasphemous. A super, super violent rogue. I don't even know if it counts as a rogue. Like, it's like a Souls-like game, alright? You know how many Souls-like games are out there? There's another Souls-like game being added. So we're gonna pilgrimage. Let us pilgrimize. Apparently with no mouse controls. It's okay, I'll plug in a controller in just a second. Because it is my guilt, I claim you grievous miracle. Make my chest hurt with regret. Fought your punishment and nail it deep. Shape my guilt once again. And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace, sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine will equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the Miracle. Apparently we gotta press F in order to pay respects to getting it. That is a goofy hat though. I don't think that, that that hat right there is not combat approved in my opinion. Press F to consume a biliary flask and recover vitality. These consecrated flasks are refilled by kneeling in a pre -de. Find empty vessels to increase the amount you can carry. So yeah, it's an Estes flask. Gotcha. So like... What are my... What, are, what do I have going on here in terms of... So I can dash, I can slide... Alright, we can jump around. I got a mouse clicker, but when I click, I'm not attacking. So I assume that the game does not have mouse and keyboard controls. There's my flask right there, which I've effectively wasted. Uh, yeah, so maybe we just can't attack yet? I don't know. I can't go that way, so I love the- wow, the pixel art is fantastic. Like, it looks really, really good. That jump animation, though, when you're, like, going forward, looks really, really good. Reminds me of the old Super Nintendo, uh, Star Wars games. They had really good animation, too. Alright, well I guess we'll go over the top of I'm just gonna jump over this part. Yup. Ooh, grabbed onto the edge there, Prince of Persia style. Okay. Uh, we can slide underneath things. Okay. Looks like a plan. For K? Oh, apparently we attack with K. Alright, so we're back in with a controller now since, like, they want me to, like, two-hand my keyboard in order to play on PC. That does need to be fixed. Like, it does. I don't know if you can re-keybind. Let's take a look, actually. Can you re-keybind? That would be the next question, I guess. So you can configure the controls. So that's good news right there. So while the game's default settings are not optimal, in my opinion, for PC gameplay, you can move them around. So hopefully it would allow you to put your attack like on your left click or whatever so that you could just play it like a normal Wasp game. Um, press Y to rest at a pre -de. You guys will know that that's one of my pet peeves is like games that come out on PC that do not have, like, adequate PC controls. They still have, like, console controls or whatever and expect you to play with a controller. I'm like, eh. That's one of my big pet peeves in gaming. But we've addressed it now. Let's move forward. That dude's going to try and smack me with whatever the hell that is, isn't it? He's going to try and beat me with a giant candelabra. The Warden of the Silent Sorrow. Okay. Well, the Warden of the... Oh, no. I almost got squooshed. Ah. You've got a shockwave. Gotcha. 
All right, so what's going to happen here? I'm going to go over here, and we're just going to keep working on you. Yep, you're getting worked on today. You're not getting me. Like, I'm just letting you know this is not happening. Okay, maybe you'll get me right there a little bit, but I only let you hit me to make you feel better about yourself, okay? That's the only reason I allowed that to hit, is just so you wouldn't feel like you got bananaed. Ow. All right, all right, just chill, 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 chill. That's pretty ballsy, though, that in a game, the first enemy you fight is a boss. I kind of like that. That's pretty sweet. Ow, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. See, and now you're dead. You didn't even have to fight me. You could have just, like, stayed in the background and just kept rustling through dead guys with weird pointy hats, and, like, you would have been good. Why I why would you do that? That was gnarly. I don't understand. Like was that really necessary? Okay. Oh, I can parry too. I like the idea of parrying. I got to learn how the parry system works. All right. So what do we have going on in here? We've got a gate. Oh, it wants me to smash that right there. Okay, what's in there? You need the key to the chamber of the eldest brother to open this door. Cool. Well, at least I know the name of the key that I'm looking for. Regretful be the heart, penitent one. The anguish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. I am Deo Gracias. Witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. The cradle of affliction is what you seek. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. It is a remote place separated from the rest of these lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. Another in the depths of a dark, entombed church where the sleeper lies. And the last one, at the end of the trail, carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral in the bowels of the bell named Hondo that grows into the earth. Take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword. If, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed, having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. Okay. I have no idea what that all meant, but like... A small gift from Deo Gracias nailed into the effigy of the twisted under the guard of your sword. The thorns risen from the miracle feed on skin, uh, sin and guilt. Okay, so maybe there's some kind of morality system in the game, like doing the right thing versus doing the wrong thing. Either way, I got my health back, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. So there's a random little cultist dude right there that just got wailed on. Oh. Well, the first one died. All right, so, like, you're probably asking yourself, how did Splattercat get hit 
by the first enemy in the game that walks slowly with a knife in front of him. Well, this guy over here died from one hit, so when I came over here, I thought this guy would die from one hit, and then when I hit him and he didn't fall over, I was like, oh, and then I got stabbed. See, it was just a miscommunication. What is this guy going to do? Parry, counterattack, retribution. Okay. Well, I didn't really want to do that. There's my parry right there. Okay. All right. Pretty sure I hit parry right there. All right, there we go. There we go. That's all better. Apparently, I'm getting some kind of loot off these dudes. You actually don't have to be that precise about it. Oh, you actually have, like, a stun, too. Okay. I was going to say, if I can strike downwards, I need that guy to go away. While this game is kind of like a Souls-like, at the same time, it's really kind of invoking... If It reminds me of Shinobi 3. Like, a little bit of Shinobi in there. And then maybe, like... I don't know. Like, it, it's got, like, a little bit of Comic Zone in there. It's got a little bit of Shinobi in there. Can I kill those? Do those die? They do not die. Okay. What's this right here? You have acquired the Verdialis of the Forsaken Hamlet. In order to use this prayer, open your inventory and equip it. So we got the Verdalis of the Forsaken Hamlet, song that filled the air during festivities of a lost village. Its power finds its way through the floor, continues through walls and ceilings, harming the enemies of the penitent one. The ring of a lace shell horn used to precede this chant, but now only silence remains. Okay. All right. Equip a prayer in your inventory and then left trigger to evoke it. That was pretty rad. I'm down with that. I enjoyed that. It was fun to use. Oh my god, there's weird little slimy monsters all over the place and they're trying to hurt me. You need to get off that platform before we have problems. Oh, that man got flashed on. How do I get up there? Hold on, there's treasure up there and I want it. And I don't see like the little raccoon tail thing that you get in Mario so that I can be like bloop, 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 and like fly up there. How do I get that? I want it. Oh, I'm about to take damage trying to get this. How do I get up there, I wonder? Oh, you can kill the dead guys on the walls, too? Oh, I had no idea. Okay. So, apparently, we can smack the dead guys on the walls. So, we got, like, background interaction, like, Splatterhouse style. I want to get up there, but I have no idea how to get it. So, maybe we get an item later that allows us to come back and, like, double jump up there or something. I'm just going to, like, cheese this dude. Oh, never mind. I can't get out of here. Stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud. I'm mm, pretty sure I hit parry right there, but maybe it was a little late. You got to do it kind of like earlier than I expected. And so like the parrying is going to take some getting used to. What is that thing? Hold on, but like what is that though? I want that. What is it? Like why is a... Why are, so there's an angel? You'll find them. The children of the moonlight. They're caged all over Custodia. You can release them with any technique at your disposal. Okay. I was going to say, you guys want some magic? I have magic if you want it. Like, I don't really have a way to get down right there without magicking you in the face, so... I'm kind of going to magic you in the face. It's a thing that i found that I'm good at, and I enjoy it, and it's healthy for me. So, you know, it's like bacon. I'm going to deploy it whenever I can. There's a boss right here, huh? The music went away. There is no answer. The miracle has forsaken us, and my ornate throne turns its back on those who await you. Oh, cool. They gave us, like, a little thingy. So we can open up a map by pressing that right there, and we can figure out where we want to go. And it's got the places marked where we can actually find a save point and refill our Estus flask, so that's good. I need to refill right here for sure. I've used up both my charges. I don't know just yet what we're going to be using our souls for. I would assume for, like, random upgrading and whatnot. I'm going all damage. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, you climb that ladder. Boogie tonight on the ladder. Boogie tonight. Okay, so we've boogied. And what do we have going on over here? You have acquired the dove skull. What does a dove skull do? Equip rosary beads in your rosary to improve the characteristics of the penitent one. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. Okay, so we only have two knots for right now. The skull of a bird drilled as a collet. Its apparent frailness slightly strengthens the penitent one's defenses. I'll take it. Sounds good. There's a door up there. Is there a door down here too? 
Sorrowful be the heart, penitent one. Welcome to Albero, sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the kisses of wounds. Few remain here who can still employ it, but Tirso is my name. There are few of us who still care for the sick and ailing. With devout kisses, we bless the wounds of those who seek our protection. Thus both we and they remain at the mercy of the miracle. Time outside these walls passes by strangely. In sundowns, we need not contemplate. But if your penance happens to carry you under said skies, be so kind as to bring us some ingredients for our ointments. The will in the miracle shall show you which ones they are. So, like, this dude over here is just making out with this guy while another dude is cutting his leg off with a chisel. This is a weird world, man. i am be honest with you, if I stumbled into this particular display, I'm not sure what I would think, other than, like, I need to get out of here right now. Like, I need to no longer be in this area. The faster I can get out of here, I think the happier I will be. None of these people can be talked to. Okay, let's go ahead and go outside. What is this? Penitent one, you who carry the painful guilt in your cracked hands. Lend it to us and alleviate our burden. Lend it to us and wipe away our tears. Because it is an act of penitence. So did that make my sword better? Or did that make my sword worse? Visit Mea Culpa Shrines to increase the power of your sword. You can also spend Tears of Atoma to unlock combat techniques. Okay, fair enough. My sword got stronger. My shvert is shverting better than before. So I guess I presume that that means we need to go back up to the top now and leave out through the other exit. I'm liking this game a lot. Despite the keyboard controls not being that great and basically like having to play with a controller, uh, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. They put a lot of time and production value into this game. It runs smooth, it looks good, it's satisfying to hit enemies. Thou hast called upon the winch of the Order of the True Shrine. In this place, we gather the remains of those who were separated and forgotten, so we can grant them holy burial. As our charitable rule prescribeth, help us these poor souls. O oh, penitent one in silence, the order blesses you. So they want me to find dead guys? There's a dead guy right there. You want me to get that dead guy for you? Dude, I'm, I'm great at gathering dead guys. Like in the world of things that I excel out, gathering dead guys is a skill. We've got the phalanx of Brannon, the gravedigger. Okay. I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going, but... Ow. Dude, I just got bopped. Apparently, it counts as a heavy strike, so it actually doesn't give you a, a counter blow opportunity. But it does at least negate the damage. Ow, dude! Oh, the boulders go through walls. Alright. Well, here, let's just solve that real fast then. I didn't expect the boulder to go through the little floor tile right there. I thought it was going to hit and explode. Alright, do your thing. Yep, I will block you. We will do our little dance. And you will go down. You are now dead. Uh, you... I need you to stop it. I don't want you to be raining down stones on my head while I'm trying to be out here doing my heroic business. Ah, there's spikes all along the bottom. I'm going to take a rough guess and say that the spikes are probably instantaneously fatal if you fall into them. So I'm going to avoid doing that. Yep, just cheese them Shinobi style. That's what this game reminds me of the most. It's like Shinobi, but with more depth. That's what the combat feels like. If you ever played like Shinobi 3, it feel, and like Shinobi 3, in my opinion, is the best of the Shinobi series. Yeah, you didn't like that, huh? Yup, you don't like that neither. Goodbye, head. You used to have one. Now you don't. Yeah, I'm going to hit you back. I'm just letting you know you're getting tagged back. Like if you try to hide behind that big old shield this entire time instead of just, like, fighting me like a G. 
Oh, I mistimed that one. That was my fault. Oh, she's dead. Nice. Okay. I'll take that. I should probably heal, but like, what if I need it later, you know? Like, what if there's a shrine like right over here? I want her to spend my souls too, because I got a feeling that when I die, I probably lose them. Just like every other souls like. Uh, do I want to go this way or do I want to go that way? Let's go down first. Oh, I won't be able to get back to the ladder if I go down there. So we got to choose if we want to go to the right or if we want to drop down. I'm going to go to the right. I guess this takes us back out of doors. Oh, really? You can't hit them from behind. Even if you get the jump on them. That's a bummer. I was hoping that we'd have like the stab kind of instant fatality attack from, from Dark Souls. Oh, if I keep mistiming that. Yeah, let's just get away real fast, and let's throw some health on. Oh, you don't get full health. Okay, you only get partial. Well, you're now dead. I can hit you from right here, so you made a drastic error in your tactical judgment. Should have set up on a higher platform. Is what it is. Down goes that enemy. I'm going to rescue the baby. There we go. Rescue the baby. Do not kick the baby. Rescue the baby. Yeah, you guys just keep, like, haphazardly throwing stones. Oh, no. That almost went poorly. I didn't know if the stones were going to have a knockback before I jumped. The nice thing about these ladies right here is if you can parry them, their strong attack, if it knocks you back into a wall, it resets the animation. So fighting them next to a wall like that means you can actually get a lot more hits off because you don't have to write out the entire knockback animation like DBZ style. And what's going on in here? Anything good? Reminds me of Castlevania quite a bit, too, honestly. Like, frankly, I would call this almost, like, less of a Souls-like and more of a Castlevania-like, in all honesty. Like, Castlevania meets... Oh. Ugh. What did that accomplish? Apparently, we have fatalities. I had no idea. Now we know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. I mean, the, the normal fatality is violent enough. And so I didn't expect that we needed, like, a second fatality where we crush them with their own shield. But, hey, uh, yeah, let's look around. Apparently, we jump normally off of ladders, so that's good. I was worried that it was just going to drop off. Oh, what's that? Let's see. The Heart of Virtuous Pain. What does that do? We can equip a sword heart in the Mea Culpa to modify its properties. They grant powerful upgrades, but it will always come at a price. Okay. So you can put it in the Mea Culpa. It will boost your block, increasing its duration, but it will expose you longer to enemy attacks. Well, apparently I can't equip it right now. Like, I guess we've got to be back in town maybe before we can slot that in. Yeah, that's the sketchy one right there. you got to kind of ride the wall downwards. Luckily, I played a lot of Sega Genesis and NES, so, like, my platforming skills are usually on point. I've been doing a lot of platforming since I was a kid. Press X when jumping to thrust your sword into the wall. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. There we go. The sword has been thrust. Can I set? Can I set, Like use the souls here? Oh, this is where I can equip all the random little thingies that the game's been giving me so far. Okay. Oh, this is where I spend my souls. Okay. So we have the Mea Culpa, apparently. We can get Sinful Wrath, which will concentrate the power of the Mea Culpa on the braid, allowing the penitent to realize its full potential in a single incredible devastating attack. We can have a fourth hit on our combo for 2,000. It takes advantage of the speed of a fall to perform a powerful plunge attack. That would actually be kind of useful, would be my guess. Oh, you have to go to the Mea Culpa altar in order to unlock new abilities. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit before we get to do that. Unfortunately, I don't know what that was down there, but it looked like it was probably bad. Contrite and humiliated be the heart, penitent one in silence. You stand before what remains of Gemino. Oh, do not fret for me. The cold is merciful, for it leaves our pain and numbs us before it leads us to our deaths. Perhaps the miracle the others spoke of has come to me. Here, in this iron tomb, lengthening distress more and more. To a promised land you direct your march, to the place where the frozen and the burning embrace in communion. 
let me ask of you the favor of bringing me a few drops of the oils that once came out of these icy olive trees. The ones that ended up scorching the faces of every pious person who ever reached the summit. As my last wish, before it is too late for me, let me feel that pain. Take this. Apparently we have an empty golden thimble now. Numbed arm become another branch of this withered olive tree. Hurry up. I can still hear the call. It's kind of an odd world. Like every why is everyone being incorporated into something? Like what happened here? Was there some did we like fail God? Like why is the universe so pissed off at us that we keep getting absorbed by objects, you know? This is the part that I question. What are you, like a flagellant? Well, now you're a giant pile of viscera, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was worth it. You think I won't get that guy. You think I won't get that guy. I'm a completionist, chat. I'm a completionist. I like to get everybody. Nobody's getting away. Oh, I don't know how to get up there. If he's going to be pelting me with rocks the whole time I'm trying to get up there, that's a problem. I mean, feel free to throw stuff at me, but like... Oh, I could do it like that. Gotcha. Okay, I didn't think I was going to have enough jump, like, oomph on the jump to make it. Definitely didn't have enough oomph on the jump to make it right there. Aw, oh, weak, dude. Super weak. Well, I had to die at least once, right? Oh, really? You don't lose your souls? All right. Apparently, I can right trigger to dodge, too, but I was doing that during the first little boss fight. Oh, there's treasure down there. I'm an idiot. The Radius of Heltzer the Poet. What do these do? The work of John Clark Heltzer had a sadly posthumous success, especially his poem of the Red Leaf. It's found next to his corpse, severed by a fallen tree. Okay, so we're finding, like, body parts. What is that? Is that like giving me more mana? I don't understand what I'm doing right now here. So use that. Oh, it does. You cut yourself for more mana. Gotcha. Okay. Makes sense. We were right next to a shrine, so I was trying to figure out what that ability was. Like, it didn't appear to do anything because our mana was full, but once I let our mana go down a little bit, that's what it does. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This game is called Blasphemous. I hope you guys really liked it. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button down below. It helps me out as a content creator and lets me stay in business. Uh, if you don't know who I am and what I do, I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so that you don't have to and you can save that hard-earned money for only the games that matter. I will see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the stove. Take care and hi-do, everybody. It's been fun.